Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Excuse the fact that I look like a hot mess right now and that my room is dirty. I just really wanted to get this video out because I feel like it's very overdue. The building ended up taking a lot longer than I expected to get renovated, but it's finally finished and I'm so excited to show you guys. So if you want to see how my first investment property came out, then keep watching. Okay, before I get started into the video, I am going to give a little background on like my life or my story so you guys can kind of understand how I got to where I am today and how I was able to buy my first building and like rent it and all that stuff. So as a lot of you guys know, I did start working at McDonald's in high school. So I worked at McDonald's my junior and senior year of high school when I was 16 and 17 and I saved all my money. I would literally give all my money to my mom. I was saving for plastic surgery and a used car. So as soon as I graduated from high school, I got my butt done and then I started working at the strip club that's when I started doing my stripper vlogs for you guys I was saving my stripper money and then I got so lucky that you guys supported me and I got to a hundred thousand subscribers then I got to a million subscribers so then I started also doing a dancewear business where I would sell stripper clothes and then I was also so lucky and blessed to get into a strip club so now not only do I sell my stripper clothes online I also sell them directly to strip clubs as well so now fast forward we're in 2021 and I've been saving my money not only have I been saving my stripper money I also saved money that I made from YouTube and money that I did from sponsorships since I got so lucky to have a big following and then money from my dancewear so the most important thing is obviously save 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 no matter what industry you're in whether you're a stripper or if you're working at McDonald's if this is something that you want to do you can definitely accomplish it you just have to have goals this did not happen overnight this literally was like a six-year process so it's just something that you really have to put your mind to but that's basically how I got here where I am today and how I was able to afford this building and this is something I've always wanted to do because when you're a stripper you need to know how to make money outside of the club I'll get into that in other videos if you guys want me to get more into like how to start your own business or how to invest your money if you're a stripper or just like tips and stuff I'll definitely get into that in other videos if you guys want that let me know down below but basically that's how I was able to afford it so I will show pictures of what the building looked like when I did tour it so I got a realtor I toured the building this is how the building was looking obviously it didn't look that well but it was in a beautiful area and they always say it's better to buy the ugliest house in a rich area than the prettiest house in a poor area so that's definitely what i did even with these units looking like this the bottom unit was renting for 1500 and upstairs was renting for 1700 so with the units not even being up to date they were renting for a lot of money so i knew once i renovated them not only would the property go up but the rents would go up as well when i was ready to rent them so that's what the building looked like when i first went to tour it originally i was going to buy a home for myself so i was going to get a building to rent out to just people fix it and rent it out and then i was gonna live in a house but during the time the market was so bad during 2021 it was like impossible to buy a house as soon as everything went on the market it was a bidding war or it would be taken off the market in seconds and then i started thinking about it and i was like honestly i don't need a big ass house it's not like i have kids and like a big family and like a dog and all this stuff like I'm really just a tiny little person like I don't need all that right now that's something that I'll need once I'm older so I put off buying a house because it just wasn't the right time there was two houses that I fell in love with but they sold right away and I wasn't trying to like do a bidding war for them because I don't want to pay more than something's worth but long story short I ended up not buying a house for myself I ended up moving into the building that I'm renovating and that I'm going to show you. So it is a two unit building. The upstairs unit that I'm living in is three bedrooms and two bathrooms. And then the downstairs unit I am renting to my sister and it's two bedrooms, two bathrooms. So me and my sister are living in the building. I am going to rent the building out once I decide that I don't want to live here anymore. But this is probably going to be my home until I find an actual house once I'm like older. But I do want to buy other investment properties. I'll do videos on that in the future. But I feel like the fact that it's just me and my sister living here is really good because we used to live together at our last apartment. And it's like we're still living together. If we ever need each other, we can just go upstairs or downstairs. But we're just not in each other's space. Also, 
owning a building is a lot harder than I thought it would be. There's a lot of learning you have to do. So I feel like if I would have just bought the building and rented it out to tenants right away, I would have been very lost. So I feel like the fact that I'm gonna live in the building for a while and I'm gonna know how much gas is, how much water is, how much property taxes are, how much I spend on trash, like little things that you don't think about, the snow getting picked up in the winter, landscaping like just all that stuff i'm gonna live here for a while and if anything goes wrong it's my sister down there so i feel you know like a little more leniency because it is a relative so i feel like by the time i am ready to rent it out maybe in a few years i'll know everything about this building because even when i was moving here little things would happen like one of my sister's outlets stopped working had to get that fixed um something was happening with my toilet like little stuff like that and if i were to have rented it out to an actual person that would be like a big ordeal i would have to get on it right away because that's their house that's where they live and i'm responsible but i feel like since i'm living here first i'm able to fix all those little things and i'm able to write down all my bills so that when i do rent it out i know exactly what to charge i know everything 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 so if this is something you want to do um i will do a video talking more about it if you guys want me to do a q a i want to get into a lot more business stuff but let me just stop talking because i know you guys came here to see the building but yeah without further ado i'm basically going to show you what the building looked like when it was like being renovated and like under construction and then what it looks like now the final result so let's get to it door to the building so this area that i'm standing in right now is basically just the little entrance area you can't really see the tiles that well because we have these big carpets but this is the front entrance tile it is a two unit so this is the front door to the first unit which is my sister's and then this is the front door to the upstairs unit which is the second unit so we'll start with the first unit Okay, you guys, so this is the door to the first unit, the one that is two bedrooms and two baths. This is what it looks like as soon as you enter. Those are the windows over there, and then this is the living room. As you can see, I did add central air throughout here. Like I said, there was radiators and AC units in the windows, and then there's also Reese's lights here as well. So these lights are super bright, and they can be dimmed, so I love that. But I'll just keep them bright so you guys can see. So this is the living room area. It's super spacious. And then the layout's pretty much the same in both units. So when you go this way, you have the dining room, the other part of the living room. And then to the left of the front door, there is a closet. All the closets in this building are super big and spacious. They do have automatic sensored lights. So as soon as you open the door, the light automatically turns on. So this is a really big, like spacious closet. Now, moving over here, we have the dining room and the island. And then over here to the left is the kitchen. So it's super open. You have the kitchen, dining room, and living room, and it's all like one big open space. So this is what the island countertops look like. It's like this white 
marble. I did do the exact same thing upstairs. The only thing that's different upstairs is this floor is laminate, I believe. So this is actually better for rental units because it's more durable, it's scratch resistant, and it's waterproof. Technically, I should have done this exact flooring upstairs and it still looks just as nice, but it is a lot cheaper. But upstairs, I did end up doing hardwood just because I'm going to be living up there. But realistically, if you guys were going to rent out a unit or a building and you were doing it yourself, I would definitely recommend this type of flooring instead of the one I got upstairs. But this is what it looks like. All new appliances, new refrigerator, stove, microwave dishwasher everything i got the exact same appliances upstairs as well and then these cabinets and stuff like that for the kitchen i got them custom made like they came in and measured the space and like custom built it so that was pretty cool i got the exact same ones upstairs as well so pretty much upstairs is the same backsplash same countertops, same cabinets, same appliances. Shout out to my realtor for giving me these um, little sink faucets, whatever. She sent me two of those, so I used those upstairs. And then right here to the left, oh, this is the pantry door. So there's all new doors throughout the entire building, all new windows. Um, I did do all the handles a matte black, except for in this kitchen. I went with this silver just to match the hardware on the cabinets. So this is what the pantry looks like. Um, the light should turn on when you walk in. Yep, see the light automatically turns on. Um, my sister doesn't have any food in there yet, but it's basically just like this. And it has these two shelves. I'm gonna try to find like a picture or a snippet. I probably already put it in of what the pantry looked like, but this was horrible. The floor was disgusting. It was not leveled. There's like a pump or something back here. And it was like completely exposed and there was literally just like a curtain here so they built this entire wall and I don't know if that's a sub pump or what it is but it's supposed to be there but I just like how the workers concealed it and made it look super clean and crisp in there so that's pretty much this area and then the Reese's lights or whatever they're called throughout the entire building no more hanging lights it looks more modern and more bright and I love that they can all be dimmed so now this is the hallway. It's the living room where we just were. And now going this way is the hallway. So this one is two bedrooms and then two baths. So this is the first or the second closet actually. Like I said, huge closets, very spacious. There's like four closets in this entire, just this unit alone plus the pantry. So pretty good for an apartment if you ask me. Because all my apartments do not have that much closet space and it's really important. This is the first bathroom. I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so this is what the bathroom looks like. I did the exact same bathroom floor upstairs and in all the bathrooms in the whole building. But upstairs I did pick a different vanity. So in this bathroom, I have the dark gray vanity with the white top. Upstairs it is a little bit different. And then it just has the mirror, the lights above it. Um, we have the same exact toilets because I got new toilets, new tubs, new everything. So all the tubs are the same in both units and the toilets. But this is how this one looks. This is the floor, the vanity, and yeah. And then this is the shower. The shower is the same in both units. I just got a different shower head for mine because I wanted mine to be able to like come off and on. But it's pretty big, pretty cute. And then over here, these are the two bedrooms. And then this is the second bathroom. So it's basically just like the bathroom we were just in, except smaller, has the same exact floor, brand new toilet, a new little vanity, just a smaller one, light and mirror, super simple, super basic. And both lights turn on. And then moving over here, you have my sister's bedroom. So both bedrooms are exactly the same size. There's just two of them. So this is the one that she decided that she wanted to be her bedroom. Just looks like this. She has her TV up already and then her bed. And then both of them have closets. And these windows are brand new. We put new windows in. This is all new. There was not like a, there was not central air before. So they added this little thing. 
new everything and then the, that's just a closet and then this bedroom is literally exactly the same as this one okay i'm not really gonna show this room that much because it's really messy my sister still has a lot of unpacking to do but it's basically the exact same size as the room i just showed you guys but this one they're exactly the same okay, so then in this back area you know you have the two bedrooms the little bathroom and then this is the back door so we came in through the front door and this is the back door. This back door leads to the washer and dryer room, which is a common area. And the light automatically turns on when you walk back here. So this is what it looks like. It just has a little sink. All this stuff is new. I don't really know exactly what it is called. I think it's like the radiator, the water heater, all this stuff is brand new. So here we have the washer. And then here we have the dryer. And then that's the back door to actually go like outside, outside. And then here are just like the electric panels for the public space, unit one and unit two. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We also had these put in. So my mom's gonna put like a thing on this one that says unit one and then another one on this one that says unit two. So when I do rent it out, the tenants can put like their detergent and stuff in there and they can have it separated. And then the washer and dryer are both $1.50 because this is a common area. So the washer and dryer are not inside of the units. As you can see, that's the back door to unit one. And this is the back door to unit two. I'm just gonna show you guys really quick. If you open this, this goes up to unit two. So it's not inside the unit or it's not inside the unit. So obviously you have to pay for it. Every apartment building I've ever lived in, if the washer and dryer was outside of your unit, you had to pay because whoever owns the building, which is me, is in charge of the water bill. So when I do eventually rent these out, I'm gonna want my tenants to pay to do laundry so that I can use that money to pay the water bill. But since it's just me and Lisa, I literally just have the key in here. And me and her have been using the same dollar fifty over and over again. But yeah, this is what this little washer and dryer area looks like this is all brand new as well like we did all new plumbing to the entire building all new electric new everything 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 so yeah just a little laundry room um i'm so pissed about these floors because these are brand new floors and i don't know if you guys can tell there's like some dirty parts i will show a picture of what happened So basically, whoever stained my hardwood floors, the workers poured the stain down the drain. And when we were doing the plumbing, it got clogged and all the water came up. And instead of it being just water, it was stain. So it literally stained my brand new floors. Like you can tell it stained all right there. And this was like all completely clean, white, crisp. Like this shit was super clean. Like it was like you know like this just looking like a brand new floor but that brown stuff got everywhere so i did have to have someone come and like buff out these floors which was super annoying but it just shows you know when you own something you're responsible for everything even if someone else messes something up so that's really annoying because i was so happy about everything looking brand new and now i feel like the floors look dirty and it makes me just want to like completely redo them again even though it's not necessary i'm just really upset about it <laughs> But anyways, that's it for this little back room, laundry room, whatever you want to call it. Now going back, we're going to go back to where we started. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick little overview of this unit before we go back to the main entrance and do the second unit. So this is pretty much how this unit looks. Super cute. super spacious this couch is huge so i feel like with a different couch it would definitely look bigger in here but yeah you guys that's pretty much it for the first unit now we're gonna go upstairs so that we can see the second unit okay now going upstairs to the second unit i did do real hardwood floors so these are real hardwood floors and then my dad suggested us painting the face of the stairs white like to match the edges so we did that these are new railings new banisters everything okay so now going up i'm gonna try not to talk that much so it's not super echoey but as soon as you walk up the first thing you see is the living room 
up here we did do the recess lights i don't really know what they're called so if i say them wrong sorry and then we added central air like i said this unit did have radiators and ac units so now the building has central air throughout this is just an overview of the living room it's pretty big and then the floors up here are all hardwood i know in a rental you usually wouldn't do that but since i'm going to be up here i did it and then right here is just like a little nook the previous people who lived here actually had like a little office here i'm not sure what i'm gonna do there yet but it's just like this little nook with a cute little window and then the living room and then over here this is where the dining room table would go so this is gonna be like the dining room area there was a chandelier hanging here but we just did the can lights, Reese's lights, whatever they're called, throughout the entire building. So no more hanging lights. As you can see from the video that I showed you guys under construction, there was a wall right here and we completely tore this wall down because I wanted it to be open concept. I feel like that's just like a lot more modern and it makes the space look like bigger and brighter. So this wall was torn down to make this island in like one big area. It's just the exact same countertop as downstairs and then the exact same cabinets. Everything's pretty much the same up here. The appliances are all the same as well. The only difference is really just the hardwood floors in the kitchen and then obviously the railings. And then that does lead to the washer and dryer room that I showed you guys. Same backsplash, same appliances. And then just another walkway into the kitchen. Now going down this little hallway, there is a closet to your left. There's a lot of closet space. So this one is also motion censored. So whenever you open any of the closet doors in this entire building, the lights automatically turn on. Just ignore how ugly it looks in there. It's just all my cleaning supplies. And then this is the first bathroom, the biggest bathroom in this unit. So I did basically do it exactly like downstairs. It has the same flooring. The vanity is different up here though. This one is a light color. I believe the one downstairs is like a darker gray, but it's still super cute. And it just has the lights. I need to get new light bulbs. And then a mirror above it. It has the same tub. It has the same shower, the same toilet, everything. The only difference is I did get a different shower head up here because I want to be able to remove it. But other than that, all the tiles and everything are the same in this bathroom as they are downstairs. And then this is just the back door. Okay, getting out of the bathroom. This one is a three bedroom. So the other one is two bedrooms. This one's three. Up there is just an attic. You pull it and like a little ladder comes down. This is a linen closet for towels and blankets and stuff. So this is the first of the three bedrooms. I am using this bedroom as a closet. I mean, not a closet, an office, but obviously it could be used as an actual bedroom. All the bedrooms in this entire building do come with closets. They're very big, spacious closets. This one just has like a mirrored door on it. As you can see, it's a mirror. And then this is the closet space, which I just have like my inventory and stuff in there. This is a balcony door. So these balcony doors are not done yet. These doors are going to be repainted and the doorknobs are gonna be changed. Throughout the entire building, we have these matte black doorknobs. So we are gonna be changing these doorknobs to match those. So that still needs to be done. And then tomorrow I have a guy coming to completely redo the balconies. We're getting new balcony floors and banisters so that out there can be super cute with like twinkle lights for whoever rents it in the future. They can put chairs and stuff. I'm going to be doing that as well. But that's what this first bedroom looks like. It's very spacious. This is the second bedroom over here. I am using this bedroom as a walk-in closet. Obviously, if you were buying a building to rent it out, you would not have a huge walk-in closet installed and a chandelier. I did this because I'm gonna be making this like my walk-in closet slash glam room slash filming room. 
but when I do eventually rent out the units, I'm going to have to take this out because this was originally a children's bedroom. So that's most likely what it would be to the person renting it. This is another balcony. So we're also going to be taking those doorknobs out to match those doorknobs because obviously they don't match anything and they're kind of outdated. These doors are going to be getting repainted. And then this balcony is also going to get redone. And then in this room, there is another closet because like I said, this is meant to be a bedroom. Um, it is horrible in there right now. I don't even want to show you guys. There's just a bunch of junk in there that I have to go through. Yes. As you can see, this is the second bedroom. The bedrooms are pretty spacious and they all do have their own closet. And now the third and final bedroom, which is the master bedroom that I'm using as my bedroom. So this is the master bedroom. Just looks like this. Once again, this is not how this room is gonna be. That is the desk that I was telling you guys that is actually gonna go in my office room over there. But right now I just have it in here because I'm waiting for my dresser to come in and then I'll mount it and all that good stuff. But basically this is the third bedroom in this unit. It's the biggest of all three bedrooms. It has a closet over here, just like the other two. And then it just has like this big open space. I do have a king size bed, so it pretty much takes up the entire room. Oop. And then over here, it's just a mini bathroom. So this is like the half bath. And yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. And then all the windows in this bedroom were replaced also. But yeah, and then, oh, another thing. It does have the dimming lights, like the other rooms. So you can make it, you know, brighter or lower depending on your mood i love that but that's pretty much the last bedroom in this unit okay you guys that's pretty much everything up here in the second unit i'm just gonna do one more quick little walk through this is the stairs to the front door that we came through living room the nook is in that corner da -da -da, kitchen Dining room table will be over there. One quick last little walkthrough. It's super spacious, especially for an apartment. It definitely feels more like a condo or like a little tiny home. So yeah, that's what it's looking like up here. And now going down these stairs, we're gonna be in the washer and dryer room. The same washer and dryer room that we were in when we went to the back door in the first unit. Then we are back to the laundry room. The light's gonna automatically turn on. So it's just a sensor light. But yeah, back where I showed you guys earlier, the washer and dryer room. That's pretty much it for this vlog or house tour of the property that I bought. And I'm going to be renting it out once I'm not living in it anymore. If you guys want a Q&A, let me know down in the comment section below some questions you have. Maybe you wanna know how much things cost or whatever. I'm open to literally talking about anything, but that's pretty much it. Leave your questions down below if you want a Q&A. I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.